everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make some glitter wayfinder charms from Kingdom Hearts as well as show you what we received in the Kingdom Hearts Disney subscription box by Sophie and Toffee. If you'd like to know more about the subscription boxes that Sophie and Toffee offer, you can check out the info down in the description box. So in the Kingdom Hearts box we received a symbol silicon mold, a keyblade silicon mold with the three different designs, gummy phone molds, a silicon mold which can be a photo card, luggage tag or name tag, various resin design films, pigment powders in the three primary colours plus black and white, UV gel resin, two part epoxy resin and finally some regular UV resin for silicon molds. Now moving on to the tutorial, I'm not going to lie, I've never played Kingdom Hearts before and I'm not very familiar with it, so I did have to do a tiny bit of research before filming this video and I decided in the end that I wanted to make the three different colours of wayfinders from the game, plus also I decided to make a pinky purple themed one too. So to begin, I collected a bunch of different glitters that I had already purchased from different craft stores and also previous Sophie and Toffee subscription boxes as well. Here you can kind of see that I've organized them into the different colors that I plan to make the wayfinders. So I firstly took my UV resin plus the silicon mold and the particular design that I'm going to be using is this star shaped one. I also have this very fine holographic glitter which I just added a small amount into the UV resin and then I mixed this in using my toothpick. I'm going to be adding a few different layers into the molds just to give the glitter some more depth and dimension. So for the first layer I just poured some of this resin in that has the holographic powder mixed in and then I just moved the mold around so that it would spread out and create a very thin layer. Then of course because I'm using UV resin I do need to cure the resin in between each layer so here I'm just holding over my UV lamp. For the next layer I'm going to be pouring the UV resin straight into the mold and then it's time to add some of the chunkier glitters and different embellishments. I used a toothpick for this part just to pick up the different bits and pieces and I've got some metal embellishments plus some different glitters in different shapes like stars and moons. In these clips I'm creating the blue and green wayfinders and I'm also making sure to cure that layer of resin to harden just to make sure that all the glitters stay where they're meant to be and they don't move around. In these clips you can see that I've cut to me making the orange and pink wayfinder charms and again I'm just using my toothpick to pick up the different bits and pieces pieces and also add them into the mold. Now I'm going to be moving on to the next layer. So again for this one I poured some of the UV resin straight into the mold and then I'm going to be adding all my different glitters which are a mixture of holographic and iridescence. So for this blue one, I firstly sprinkled in some blue iridescent glitter before then using my toothpick to place in some of the larger dark blue holographic glitters into the center and then also a slightly lighter blue flaky glitter towards the points of the stars. When I looked at the original Wayfinder images on Google, I noticed that they kind of had a gradient to them. So I decided to try and create this using the different shades of embellishments and glitters when making my charms just to try and make them a little bit more similar to the originals. Again, for the green, orange and pink charms, I did the exact same thing, just carefully placing in all the glitters to create a gradient effect and also sprinkling in some iridescent glitters as well. For the pink design, I also decided that I wanted to add some flower design resin film. So to do this, I poured my UV resin onto the design film and then I cured it under my UV light before then lifting it up almost like a sticker. Once that layer of resin was cured, it was then time to move on to the final layer, which I'm going to be using the powdered pigments that came in the box, and then also some other shades that I have from previous boxes as well. So to do this, I filled up the mold the rest of the way with UV resin and then allowed it to cure under my UV lamp. And then using a paintbrush, I dusted on the pigment powders, which have a very nice shimmery look to them. And then I'm keeping with the gradient theme, just blending them together as I go. Then we just need to seal these in with one final layer of resin on the back to dome it. Once 
Once your charms are fully cured, you can go ahead and take them out of the mold. These are what my Wayfinder charms currently look like. And then for some final details, I took some black acrylic paint and I just added this onto the kind of like little stitching designs, which were indented into the charms from the mold. Plus in the center, I also decided to add a little heart symbol as well. Here I'm taking my resin and a brush and I just went over the whole charm like a glaze to seal in the paint. Doing this also brings out the colors of the glitter because the molds were a matte finish and to see the full effect of the glitters, you need it to be shiny. To turn mine into charms, I took these ball chains that I found in my craft supplies, which match the colors of the wayfinders. And then I just threaded these through the loop in the top of the star and then closed the wall chain up. So here are what my finished Wayfinder charms look like once they're completely finished. I'm pretty happy with how these turned out, seeing as at the beginning I was really struggling with an idea just because I wasn't very familiar with Kingdom Hearts. Like I said at the start of the video, I've never played it before and I don't really know much about the characters or the storyline, so I did have to do a little bit of research. I really love how in the end I was able to bring in my style of the glitters and the bright colors, but also match them to the original game. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I will see you next time. Bye guys!